Good morning and thank you for joining me for this time of morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This morning's psalm is Psalm 119, beginning at verse 153. Look upon my misery and rescue me. For I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great is your mercy, O Lord. Give me life according to your justice. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not swerve from your decrees. I look at the faithless with disgust because they do not keep your commands. Consider how I love your precepts. Preserve my life according to your steadfast love. The sum of your word is truth and every one of your righteous ordinances endures forever. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous ordinances. Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I fulfil your commandments. My soul keeps your decrees, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and decrees, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips will pour forth praise, because you teach me your statutes. My tongue will sing of your promise, for all your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live, that I may praise you, and let your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek out your servant for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so our reading this morning is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, beginning at verse 19. 
Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists, also proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number of them became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch, and so it was that for an entire year they associated with the church and taught a great many people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. At that time prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and predicted by the Spirit that there would be a severe famine over all the world, and this took place during the reign of Claudius. The disciples determined that, according to their ability, each would send relief to the believers living in Judea. This they did, sending it to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. And so we say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. that this and all our days may be full of your praise. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this day without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. And so let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God.
Father, we thank you for the life of this church here in Sandersted. We give you thanks, Lord, for the people who worship here. We thank you, Lord, for the way that you have guarded and held us during this coronavirus pandemic. Lord, we pray that you would continue to bring healing to those affected by the lockdown. Healing not only in body, but also in mind, as they miss their families and their friends due to their vulnerability. We pray, Lord, for those who are unwell in this church, remembering especially Kim Brown and Alison Brewster. We also pray for Father Richard Broadbury. We also remember this day, Lord, Teresa Lewis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks, Lord, for our NHS, for our shop workers, home, carers, cleaners, all those, Lord, who provide services for us so that we can live our lives better. We thank you, Lord, for our doctors and our nurses, for the police force, for the ambulance and the fire brigade. As our children, Lord, return to school, we give you thanks for our teachers and we ask that you would protect them and our children. Lord, you never promised that this life would be free of suffering or difficulty, but you did promise that you would never leave or forsake us. And so, Lord, we pray for all those people that we know, even those that we don't, who are struggling and suffering at this time. And we ask that you would extend your grace, your mercy and your compassion to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who called your church to bear witness that you were in Christ reconciling the world to yourself, help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be drawn to you through him who was lifted up on the cross and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.